Hey everybody, Goldie here, and today we are taking a look at the new free character for this month's MLC, the Hall of Fame Spectacular, and it is the King Jerry Lawler Hall of Fame. He is a showboat, and I just want to see, because sometimes these little... It doesn't say what year. Okay. That would have been fun. Um, but anyways... Uh, Jerry the King Lawler is your freebie for the month. You can get him at two star bronze on your contest page. I'm going to have uh, four builds for you. One that you can run right away at two star, one at three star, one at four star, and one at five star. Free to play players. I think you're going to really like this first build because it looks to be really good for purple stipulation tours. Um, so I'll show you that. Let's just take a quick look here. He is a coach. Um, and I don't remember which preview video I did, but I mentioned we didn't have a purple submission reduction coach. Now we have one. Now we have one for all the colors. So right away, he reduces it by one. At 5k, he reduces it by two. He does have two sets of gear. Um, one that you can obtain, I believe, by maxing or finishing his tour. And the other one, not sure yet. This preview is going to be um, without the gears. I will do a run it back for one move set with both of them. So just a reminder that there are no gears for this preview. And he gets the Hall of Fame link. Any color moves with four or more move points. Start with four more move points. I said that completely wrong. Uh, just showing here. He's got the silver. And he's got the gold. They are not currently available to us. So, first build we're going to take a look at is available at 2 star. It is double yellow with purple 1. So the finisher is the Royal Fist, 10 MP. Uh, deal 143,785 damage. And swap a 5 by 3 area, uh, choose, sorry, a 5 by 3 area to swap into purple gems. Uh, yellow 2 is the Body Slam, 6 MP. Deal 77,977 damage and choose a 7 by 3 area to make into reinforced gems. And purple 1, the running drop kick, deal 70,423 damage and swap a 4 by 2 random area into yellow gems. Entourage for this build is going to be Woods for more starting purple MP. We're going to use Zombie Drew for more purple gem damage. Um, try to go with a more free-to-play option there. Showboat Lacey to up the purple gems. And um, Santa Hogan for all gem damage. For the belts... We're going full armor. It's like we've buffed the purple gem damage, but we're hoping that'll be... Because it'll cause a big pin, and then double armor will keep them down. We have a cheap shot plate. Uh, maxed out for the most part, and then a yellow percent for the finisher. Cheap shot, so we reduce the gem damage with a critical hit. Um, it looks like my tour perks are still active. Yeah. And his monthly boosts are active, so this is going to be wild. Um, but he is, the moves are low charge, so let's just pretend that uh, when the match starts, this is turn two. Yeah, so we're going to pretend that this is turn two, because both of these should not be loaded at the same time. Uh, but, okay, turn two! I'm sorry, what? Really? 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 What? What? Okay. 
Um, let's try that again, shall we? All right, take two. Use purple one uh, to charge up the finisher and yellow two. This looks promising. In the sense that he's going to kick out. Please kick out. Please. Please. Thank you. Okay, so. I said this would be good for purple stipulation tours, and here's why. We're going to choose a 7x3 area to make into reinforce. So we're going to plop that. I think we're going to put that there. And then the finisher, we're going to choose a 5x3 to swap into purple gems. And what you want to do is lay them over the reinforce. Uh, we're going to clip that one. In hindsight, I probably didn't pick the best spot, but I just kind of want to show you how it's similar to um, Zombie Lashley's um, yellow gems. My Streamlabs stopped working. It's similar to zombie lashley's uh yellow gems with the snowfalls and the reinforce for yellow stipulation day not as ideal obviously but this will work just fine for purples because they hit once then they hit again that'll charge up this move we smacked them for 1.2 mil and we've got full armor on So, very, very strong for a freebie. Now, keep in mind that all my perks and his boosts are still activated, so the gem damage is a little higher than it normally would be. But the gameplay concept is it will remain the same. I don't know what that scales like throughout the rarities. I don't know if it's like maybe it starts out as a 4x3 and then goes to a 5x3, 6x3, 7x3. I'm not sure. Uh, but similar concept, similar approach when you use that moveset. Okay, let's keep going and take a look at a three-star moveset for him. Three-star moveset that we're going to take a look at is double purple with the finisher. So we're keeping the royal fist and the running drop kick. Those two moves are going to recycle each other. And we're bringing in the reversal. Not my favorite um, gameplay style, but going to show it anyways because it is a preview and I like to show all the moves. Uh, so the reversal is 5 MP, available at 3 star, deal 97,896 damage, kick out of pin, and swap 11 random gems into yellow gems. Gems broken during kick out do not have any effect and you cannot kick out when in danger. By that they mean um, any gems that break will not deal damage but the pin bar will still move. That's how um, reversal mechanics have been working lately. Um, you could buff the, um, the purple move damage, but I don't find it to be all that significant. I'd much rather hit the finisher. Uh, so entourage for this, we're going to go full piss off your opponent mode with like as much gem defense as possible. So woods for more, um, purple MP to get going on turn, um, two, if you don't have tour perks, one otherwise. Uh, Honky Tonk Man for 30% gem defense from all color gems. Mochu Cena for 20% defense from red. Zombie Asuka for 20% defense from black. We are going against um, somebody that targets yellow, green, purple, but those coaches are not all that available. So I shied away from that. But what you would want to do is pick the gem defense coaches that target the two main colors of your opponent. Uh, we're going to keep the belt the same with the yellow percent and the cheap shots. So we are working with 90% uh, gem defense on our base. 
because so 30% from Honky Tonk Man, 20% from the metal, and then 20% for one set, 20% for two sets. So 20, 40, 60, 90, and then 110% for red, 110% for black. We'll see um, what that looks like against his belt. He's got some defense too. He's strapped up half and half. So uh, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. So we're going to pretend that this is turn two. So you could hit this again, but it is random, likely to cause a pin, so we'll just hit the finisher. And we're going to choose a 5x3, so we want to latch on to as many purples as possible. I'm liking here because we'll get those two, we'll get the wild card, we'll get that one up there. Or we could do that into it. Let's do that instead. Ooh, and a nice cascade. So, 803,000 pin with um, just the finisher medal and an F load of gem defense. So that works just fine as well. Didn't even need the reversal. But he has one, if you are into reversals. Okay. So those are our armor setups. There are two builds I want to take a look at that are uh, Fury-based. You could always run double armor Honky Tonk Man on every single build set ever, and it would be just as effective. Uh, but I want to see what kind of numbers we can put up damage-wise. So let's go take a look at his four-star build. Okay, the four-star move we're going to look at focuses on gem destruction, blowing up the board, chaos... Chaos! I love chaos. Okay, uh, so double black, and we're gonna keep the reversal in just because. Um, the other purple move doesn't really do anything for this build, so we'll just have the reversal just in case. Um, so black one, mounted punches, 7 MP, deal 79,997 damage, and choose 7 purple gems to destroy. Back body drop is black two. That is the four star move. Uh, eight MP deal 84,673 damage and make four random purple gems into cross break gems. And then we're gonna keep the reversal in. So entourage for this build, we're going to go with Bray Wyatt to start with more black MP. Acro Jeff Hardy, or should I say modern era acrobat? Can I say his name? Um, to make more cross breaks. Zombie Cena, uh, so he gives us an extra cross break and 25% more damage on the cross break gem itself. So whatever color that gem is on, that gem will do 25% more damage. Um, and then Santa Hogan, because we're gonna be blowing up the entire board, might as well buff our all of our move damage, uh, gem damage, I know words. Uh, so breaking news, my tour perks are gone. Uh, but his monthly boosts and all of his Hall of Fame stuff and Champions boost is uh, still in play. So turn-wise, we're going to be a little more accurate. For the belt, we're going full Fury. For the most part, stats are maxed. We have a black percent maxed out tier 4 for 133.3% more damage on black moves. And we're going to run a bad attitude plate. Whenever we break uh, three blue gems, we'll get three more black move points. Uh, that'll help us reload the black moves since we're going to blow up the entire board. Surely we can clip like three blue gems in the process. And uh, we're choosing the gems to destroy. So we'll have a little more control over that. Should help us recycle. 
Uh, gonna go up against Ivar. Wasn't really wanting to go up against a showboat with the kickouts and how weak the showboat kickout is. So we're gonna try this against Ivar and uh, see what kind of damage the king can do. Okay, so um, with Bray and his monthly boost, this move is going to be ready to go on turn one. When you get your level three tour perks, both of these moves will be ready to go. Uh, not going to hit this one yet because I obviously want to hit this one first and then pick off the purples to destroy. So I'm just going to play a little bit of defense and take his black and give him a black match in the process and he'll do that. And oh, never mind. Okay. He didn't do that. All right. So eight random purples into cross breaks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we got shorted one, but that's okay. Uh, seven purple to destroy. So we can pick all of these. And there's plenty of black gems, plenty of blue gems. This will also load up our reversal. And the entire board is going to go black! Uh, copyright DJ Anon ZT. So almost a mill. But, you know, showboats suck, so. Very straightforward turn to win. I'll take it. Uh, one more spec I want to take a look at with the black moves. And it's available at 5 star. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Last moveset we're going to take a look at is available at 5 star, so probably not achievable for 99.9% .9 of players this month. Uh, but it brings in yellow 3, which is the pile driver, 4 MP, deal 90,097 damage, and increase your black MP by 8. So without tour perks, without monthly boosts, um, all you need is a yellow MP trainer. And you can get everything going on turn one. So we're going to try to load everything that way. Entourage is going to be the same as before. But instead of Bray, we're going to use Kofi. And same belt to help us reload the black gems. Same opponent. And that is probably for the fact that Kofi will make us have like seven starting MP. Uh... But let's see, uh, let's see how efficient this is. See if we can bop them turn one. All right, pile driver, load up the black moves. Make sure to hit black two first. Otherwise you played yourself. And this should hopefully... Yeah, we'll get all the yellow gems too, just in case we need to reload again. But we got plenty of blacks and plenty of blues on the board. We don't have enough purple gems, I'm sorry. Board goes bop. Everything's loaded. 1.01 .01 mil. Very nice. Very efficient. Four uh, fairly efficient movesets, I think. And since Hall of Fame has been fairly paywalled and inaccessible in the past, I think this is going to be a huge benefit for players that, you know, we have Piper and we have Eddie that were uh, free. And for newer players that missed out on both, I think this is going to be an excellent Hall of Fame card. So let's go ahead and conclude the preview. So that concludes the basic preview of Jerry the King Lawler with no gears. Stay tuned for the run it back. I will equip both and run a move set to see uh, how much damage we can do. My thoughts, like I uh, said previously, I think if this, for newer players, if this is your only Hall of Fame character, this is a very good one to have. He's got a great moveset available right at two star. It'll help you with your purple stipulation tours. It doesn't require 
um, paywalled coaches or trainers at all. Um, so this would be super good. This would be super good for you. Um, and even like players that have a bunch of Hall of Famers, Lawler is still incredibly solid. Um, so very pleased with him as a freebie. Uh, definitely in contention for a Gummy Award in 2022. Slight spoiler? I don't know. Find out in 12 months. Uh, so let me know your thoughts. Let me know your, what your favorite moveset is. What are you liking? What kind of setups are you liking on him? What do you think about finally getting a Hall of Fame Lawler in the game? Uh, nice of him to finally get a second character. And a very good one at that. So thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Be sure to like, share with your friends, and subscribe so you're notified the next time my gameplay videos come out. Thank you again for watching. And thank you for being a friend.